This one's a really funny fun fact. This one's hilarious. So could you imagine a timeline where Israelis all speak German? If you will, I was going to mention it. But I ended up I didn't end up being able to say it. So Herzl didn't believe in Hebrew as a feasible common tongue for the land of Israel. You know, and at this time, you know, Hebrew is more like liturgical languages. You know, for kids, you know, kids go to Hebrew school and they don't, they, at home, they converse in the native language of their host country, right? You know, but Herzl says, like, Hebrew is not feasible. He's like, can you even order a bus ticket in Hebrew? No, you can't. So, and, you know, and he calls Yiddish and, you know, Ladino, all these other things, basically, probably he's thinking mostly Yiddish because he's an astronaut. So he's calling Yiddish and the, like, miserable stunted jargons, those ghetto languages which we still employ as stealthy tongues of prisoners. He's saying these language servers are reminded that the Jew is a foreigner with no home country. You know what I mean? And he's basically saying, like, he's using Switzerland actually as a talking point, saying it's proof that different languages can coexist. Sorry, my throat's like energy leaving a little bit, sorry. But basically, Theodore Herzl's, you know, vision for the common language of the Zionist state is he's envisioning the adoption of one of the host country languages that they already talk in as a national tongue. And knowing that Herzl joined, he spoke German, Der Judenzeit is written in German, Alt Newland is written in German. And Herzl, when he was in freaking college, he joined a German nationalist frat, dude. And, you know, I feel like part of him wanted to be German. He didn't have his kids circumcised. Did you know that his son, he didn't have him circumcised? You know, and I feel like him saying, you know, we should adopt one of the host country languages, fuck Yiddish, all that shit. And he's writing this in German. He probably envisioned Israel as having German as a national language because that was his language. You know, so fucking imagine a timeline where all Israelis spoke German. Like, that's just fucking hilarious to me.